Demi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're just joining us now, welcome! I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're having a lovely day. For today's video, I, I just wanted to come back. I've been sick for about a week now and it took a full week out of my schedule, which really was not needed because I've been really busy at the moment with personal stuff and work stuff and I could have done with just not getting sick, but my body was like, no, 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 no. I wanted to do a full sort my life out video. It was much needed. I feel like when I'm sick and down, my routine goes to plot, my schedule goes to plot, the housework goes to plot. And honestly, I'm really annoyed about this because before getting sick, I was on a really Really good schedule I had everything organized and I've slowly been trying to just get everything back to normal the way it was so this is going to be just to sort my life out type of video I really just wanted to do something really chill but I wanted to also play around with something that I have got recently I have been playing around with the Cricut Joy Machine it's something that I got recently and oh my god guys it has changed my organization game like so much I thought I was organized right basically a few weeks ago I organized every single drawing cupboard in my house if you haven't seen that video I'll have it linked below and it was fun I enjoyed it I was organized and everything I knew where everything was I knew what I had and what I didn't have so it was really great I really enjoyed it but now I'm even more organized because I have been vinyl labeling everything in my house. I brought something along to show you that I made. This was my first ever Cricut Joy project and I was very very excited. Can I just say like I am not a DIY person at all. To be honest I hate DIY. I just like things to be ready made for us. I have been loving this machine so much. It's so easy to use. You literally don't have to know the first thing about DIY. I found it so easy to use to personalise things in my house. Um, I'm going to show you the first thing that I made with the machine but I'm also going to show you something that I've been so excited to do for the last week that I'm finally going to do today because I haven't been well enough to do it but I'm going to do it today because I've been so excited about it. So if you don't know what the Cricut Joy is, this is my Cricut Joy here. This is what it looks like and this is what it looks like when it's open. The Cricut Joy is basically a cutting machine where you can turn any little household things into a little DIY project. You can literally personalise anything in your house in under 15 minutes. The thing for me is that it's simple to use because honestly before I got the product and before I was like thinking about using it and thinking about like different DIY products I was a bit nervous and I was watching loads of tutorials on YouTube on how to use the product because I'm not a DIY person at all like I said I actually don't really enjoy a lot of DIY projects but because this is so simple to use I have been very excited about it and I can't wait to make some Christmas stuff with it. That's not what I'm going to be doing today. Today I'm going to be like organising some of my drawers and doing some little vinyl stickers but oh my god I'm so excited. It actually uses Cricut Smart Materials so the permanent Cricut vinyl that I've been using for my DIYs actually comes with like a thicker backing paper so it means you don't have to use a mat which is again something I found super super easy because the less products you need to use the better for me because it's like really small you can take it anywhere. Like, first little Cricut project was this plain bottle that I got from Home Bargains and I was like I want to DIY it so I put gold writing on it saying disinfectant I mean DIY queen or what? How bloody cool. I was buzzing doing this. This was the first project I'd done and I took a photo of it. I sent it to me mom. I was like, look at me. I just got so excited that I'd actually done something DIY. But yeah, very excited. As you can see, it's definitely given us the perk that I needed because I was just feeling so crap that I needed a bit of a perk and the Cricut Joy has given me a very perk. It's 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 exciting. It's really exciting. You get an app called Cricut Design Space. That's the app that you use. I've just been using this very basic template and I've been using this um font here just for everything basically just because I quite like it this menu I'm going to be using without matte because I am using the smart materials you'll hear this little noise and then the machine will automatically measure up for you and then on your phone it'll tell you that they've measured and then you can just press go and it'll come up like this and it literally takes seconds See, it's cutting my little vinyl sticker now. And then you just want to unload your project. And then you, I don't know how well you'll be able to see at the minute, but it has obviously put my sticker there. But when we go upstairs and put it on the drawers, you'll see it better. <gasps> oh my God, that is so cute. Okay, it is wonky. That is my fault. I'm really sorry.
Very important question. Do you store your cups that way or that way? Sean always puts them in that way. I always put them in that way. But I store my mugs upside down because I feel like then there's less chance of any spiders getting in your mugs. Because I feel like if you store them upright, spiders get in. But I feel like more dust gets in as well. And I wipe down my cupboards often. Um, so I prefer to store mine upside down. Plus my mum always store her cups upside down. So naturally I just like inherited that when I moved into my own house, stored them upside down. Sean's mum stores them that way, but I feel like they're easier to stack upside down as well because you can like get two together and put them on top. I, I'm an upside down stone cup type of girl, what are you? Because me and Sean always, I always say to him when he empties the dishwasher, I'm like store them upside down and he's like store them the right way and I'm like but I like them upside down. So how do you store your mugs? It's a very important question in my household and I need to know. Sometimes you need a nice, easy, convenient taste. That's why I'm having the sweet and sour chicken from Plant Kitchen, cause it's lovely and it's easy and it's convenient. Ready? Like that. Oh, look at them. Okay. Putting these in the oven for like 10 minutes. Hi, handsome. Have you been playing out? Who has been playing out with you? Who was it? Your sis? Your sissy? Has she been playing out with you? Them ones are not dry, Henry. They are not. Are you helping? Do do do. Do do do. Oh, so right guys, I've got myself me nice, quick and easy um, sweet and sour chicken. This is the M&S Plant Kitchen one. It's so good. Honestly, the last two days, I haven't been like ill, like, you know, with me illness. I've not been ill, but I've not really been eaten. Like, I wake up in the morning and I'm not hungry and that is not like me because I am usually starving in the morning and could eat like three breakfasts. So I'm not really sure what that's, how that's happened. I must admit, I'm saying that I'm absolutely starving now, like, so... I'm excited to have this. Chicken balls in this are so good. I wish they sold them separate to uh, like rice and stuff, like do like chicken balls or something, because they're so good. Absolutely delicious, this meal. I've had it so many times. But yeah, I've got quite a bit done tonight. Quite happy with what I've got done so far. Still got stuff on me to-do list. I need to edit two videos, because I am behind with editing. This video being one of them. Um, Sean has been helping out with it a bit more recently, and he's actually been getting it like quite quick. Also, if you follow Daily Dose of Us, I'm really sorry for the lack of videos on that channel recently. Um, it's just Sean's been doing a lot of overtime and I've been sick. And then even when I wasn't sick, like the week prior. Henry? Ah, 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 ah. No. Just keep trying to dig me so far. And we're trying to teach them no to that because that is naughty. Yeah, even prior to me being sick. We just didn't really have any content ideas, to be honest. And every content idea we did have was like a long, it would take a lot longer to film than a week. So we weren't able to get videos up. But we are going away this week. We're going on a little trip to the lakes, just me and him. The first time we've been away without the pups, which I'm excited for. And we will be vlogging that. Leave it, Henry. Uh, um, like vlogs and stuff we'll have that going up and then um, yeah we will have more content going into the end of November and December so I'm sorry for the lack of content on there recently so I usually do the muscle food go get as planned which I really love um, I'm waiting for my box to come on Thursday it's currently Monday I ordered it late this week which I was so annoyed about um, so I've had to be like using up stuff in the freezer which isn't bad because it empties the freezer a bit hence why I've got this um but yeah i can't wait for it to come because I, I miss it when it's not here in the comments below how far are you on your christmas shopping are you like dead organized or are you like not started yet or do you wait until like a certain point in december um i haven't got any christmas decorations up yet i feel like i'm gonna do that middle to end of november and i know a lot of people do it a lot earlier but I don't want to do it too early. I feel like end of November is going to be when I start. Um, I might ask Sean to get them all out of the loft kind of middle of November. So then I can like sort through what I've got. Christmas shopping wise, I have been getting bits and bobs. Very kind of little bits, mainly stock and fillers. Um, but I want to do like a big Christmas shop probably in the next few weeks to get quite a bit in because I worry if it gets into December, I start to panic about what I need and what I haven't got. So I do like to try and be slightly organized with it one with that really 
self-care has just been non-existent at the minute guys my eyebrows are so overgrown i need to go into the little town center and yeah mine tomorrow and try and get them done i've booked an appointment to get my nails done tomorrow which is exciting i am going to get some classic lashes on i think yeah i need just some tlc pampering i need to do my tan i haven't tanned in about a month I've just not been very tanned. I just get to winter and I wear a lot of like obviously layers and stuff and I'm like, I don't need to tan, but tanning just makes myself feel really good. So I do want to do tan maybe this week. I probably do it tomorrow night before we go away or I might not. I am shaved though. I literally never have to shave now. It's a godsend. I use the Braun IPL um, laser thing and I literally never have to shave. Oh, I have to tidy them all the time for me, you. These have just come out of the wash, so don't get them smelly, please. You're annoying us a bit. Crying all the time. You are. Right, I've got some clean washing to put away. I want to know two things from you. Fucking hell, they've got them antler bones. They keep dropping them. I want to know, what's the one task in your house that you think it's really hard to keep on top of? For the longest time when we moved in, mine was the washing. But I've noticed if I do, if I literally empty the washing basket every other day, I can stay on top of it. And I was watching someone on YouTube the other day and they had kids and they said they have to do it like every day. Whereas I can get away with every other day and it's manageable. Um, but the wa the job I hate the most is changing the bed sheets and putting the clean washing away. I just find it so tedious and boring, especially when we first moved in and I would have bags and bags of clean washing to put away because I would let it all build up. But now I'm on top of it, I never have to put like too much away at once, which kind of manages it a bit better for us. So like that was all I had there, just a few bits and bobs. To be honest, a lot of it was just Sean's stuff. Um, and it's, mo it's really helped us like, just being organised to be honest. Honestly when I think of some of the states that we had this house when we first moved in we would literally go to bed, the kitchen would be piled high with dishes, would have endless amounts of washing and I feel like I'm just managing it a lot better. <laughs> like we've been a year in the house now and I feel like I know how to manage it better. But exciting things are happening. I've started planning all my Christmas nights out with my friends which I'm really excited for. <clears throat> I need to plan one with Sean actually because I'm planning loads of Christmas nights out with my friends and December's nearly taken up and November so I actually need to kind of schedule one with Sean there's a couple of like couples that go out together so some of Sean's friends and the girlfriends we usually all go out there's usually six of that go so I need to try and arrange that anyway put these away right guys I've totally bust this camera now it's just fell again and it's bust <laughs> so I actually have bought a new camera but I haven't set it up yet so as of tomorrow I'm gonna have to set it up anyway I can still use this camera but to me it looks like you're on a proper tilt because the back screen is just broke so not sure about that but <clears throat> I'm just gonna get on with it and finish the video also I hate filming in all the bathrooms in this house because the fans turn on with the lights and it's really annoying. Sean keeps promising us he will change it one day where there's a separate like switch, but it's a big job and I just don't think he can be arsed, which I don't blame him. So <clears throat> I'm gonna take my makeup off because I feel like I just need to. I just need to take it off. First off though, I use the Pixie um, makeup remover pad on my lashes just to get mascara off because I find mascara is like more of a stubborn thing to get off water in this house takes so long to heat up we've got a combi boiler as well but i just feel like it takes a while it's hot now but usually my mum's house it was instant but i don't know if it was because there was more people constantly using it oh. there's actually not many better feelings than taking your makeup off wait to start using the new camera because <laughs> this is terrible okay right skincare so i'm actually not gonna do a mask because i've cleansed my makeup off and my skin feels smooth i'm just gonna like really moisturize it so and i'm actually gonna use that one <laughs> right so for tonight i'm doing a mini exfoliate this is the acne derm um exfoliate it's like a gentle exfoliator i've worked with them in the past but this isn't an ad but basically you get it on amazon 
um it's called acne derm i'll try and link it below if i forget reminders on um and it's a gentle exfoliant and i do feel like i need it so i'm just going to take a cotton pad it can sometimes sting if i so slightly but it is good for sensitive skin as well it's actually sold in german pharmacies if i remember correctly um for problem skin it's a really good product and i actually really like it I'm trying to pat it i'm not really sure why i just feel like wiping it's not really great it's a really gentle exfoliant and i just feel like it refreshes the next thing i'm going to use is some of the pixie hydrating milky mist just because i really do want to get some hydration on this skin friends i usually use two pumps of it just because i must have a big face because i feel like one does not do enough in my face that was very refreshing and then i do keep my nighttime routine quite simple unless i'm doing a testing video and then i just put a bit of this on this is the nars lip balm in clean cut um because my lips are all sore from being ill so i just try and pop that all over get my jammies on and then i'm gonna call it a night for this video because i feel like i've got a lot of the stuff done that i wanted to get done i'm absolutely buzzing with me little signs you know makeup i mean they are a bit wonky and i'll probably look back at me cricket designs that i first started doing you know maybe a year down the line and be like Shh, they are absolutely awful and i'm hopefully creating much better stuff by then but for now anything i create i'm like a child at nursery and i'm very excited about it <laughs> i absolutely love the cricket machine um i want to do some like i just want to make so much stuff and i also want to try and use the pen as well <sighs> Well, it's hard to hold the camera right when i'm upside down on the viewfinder and everything just looks wonky like look in this mirror this is how i'm saying things i don't know if you can see but the screen is wonky like i have the new camera and i'm gonna set it up after this video because i need to now um but yeah i really want to do some cards i really want to do some cards and stuff like that with a machine because i feel like i'll really enjoy doing them maybe every one of my family will get homemade christmas cards maybe i'll start like designing my own i hope so that would be really fun anyway for now i'm gonna love lanevias i hope you enjoyed this video of me just sorting my life out let us know anything productive you've done today and thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you again shortly for another one bye